Hi, this is Yoshi. Uh, this is a box uh, of Hoyas inside. Um, if you know Hoya and watch YouTube's, you know Douglas Chamberlain. Uh, he's he's uh, uh, pretty much exclusively grows Hoyas and uh, shares his information on VermontHoya.com and uh, uh, his own YouTube channel. Um, I will put the link on the description. Uh, but uh, he was just saying. Uh, last month that uh, he's gonna release uh, his uh, cutting sale list uh, you have to be on his list and uh, I am on his list uh, that's how I bought uh, uh, Hoya Imperialist also and uh, we I think I showed you the uh, list of the Hoyas that he's selling on last week Sunday update I got that on Saturday so uh, we kind of looked at which Hoya would grow really well at our place and what kind of Hoya we were looking for and that kind of stuff and uh, ordered it on the same night and then um, it just came in today so it was pretty quick now uh, let's open this I also have a video which will uh, show you how to make a Hoya, how do you call it, um, shipping shop. Avoid, try to uh, not to give a lot of a shipping shop. Because uh, that one I got a gift Hoya from my friend and uh, taught me how to uh, transfer it or upcut it with less shock as possible so anyways it came with a nice insulation and uh, Here's a list. I got this one, this one, that, and this. So this is not cutting. Uh, this is actually wooded. So, all right. What is this? This is looking really nice. Wow, pretty clean too. Hoya. Kumingiana seedling. So this is the seedling. Doesn't look seedling, but all right. Okay, so just a side note. This shows this is the bottom, pretty much. I don't know if there's a root there or not, but we'll see about that. But uh, when you root a hoya, you see this is there's a there's a cut too. You have to know which one is top because if you put it in the wrong side then they will never root okay next oh there's sphagnum moss i don't know for what but oh oh what is this oh hoya papashunii seeds huh Oh, okay. Plant in moist moss. It says bonus. Oh, thank you. Wow. Nice. So that's what the sp uh, sphagnum moss was for, I think. Wow. Uh, last time I, when I bought uh, Imperialis, uh, he also uh, put a bonus Hoya in there too. It was a Hoya Natalie. And uh, I just bought one too, and he just put um, bonus in there too thank you dog thank you oh my goodness this one must be the rocky eye because 
it says pot it and here it is and guess what it came with the bud and some of them already open my goodness look at that nice thank you okay it's all like here we go so this is lo I think oh, okay there's like multiple plant all like smushed together uh, oh okay this is not rocky eye this is the cutting uh, cutting rosaria or rosaria whatever you call it I don't know but yay pedinko nice Trying not to, uh, I think it's okay. And again, it shows you which side is the bottom. Oh, it's kind of rooted already, though. Nice. Cool. And this one is a bell chanae. I don't know why they make this so complicated names but this is also pretty clean nice seedling okay now here is rocky eye or lucky eye I'm sorry I don't pronounce L very well it's in the sphagnum moss too okay. Still moist, very nice and well rooted. Look at that. This is a uh, rocky eye. I, I'm sure it's rocky eye. And see this? Focus. Focus. It's a pedinko. So really really nice okay that's it and I cannot find a low tag for this but it's okay now let's see Kumingiana Rosariae Bonus Bonus With a sphagnum moss attached to it And Isabel Chanay Alright And uh what I'm gonna do, I it doesn't look really it doesn't look dehydrated, but still I want less shock. So what I'm going to do is those cuttings I am going to soak this in uh, water with a little bit of a sugar. Uh luke water luke water. Uh luke lukewarm water and then uh, leave it uh, hydrated for um, overnight it's almost 11 at night so I'm going to take it out from uh, the water tomorrow and then uh, leave it in the water as a water rooting so I'm going to take out the uh, those bottom When I uh, bought Australis cutting before, um, I couldn't figure out which one was bottom. I knew I have to uh, put the bottom part in a, you know, whatever have you, like hydroton bowl or whatever. 
to root it and I just couldn't figure out which one was the bottom and uh, yeah I mean I finally figured it out later but oh I see so this is the bottom and I see what it is uh, it's uh, when you cut the Hoya will um, the sub will come out and uh, it will drip really it's a really good amount of a sub comes out so that's what it was it's trying to stop it um, so it's the tag is up upside up so that's the way I am going to uh, put it so this is the bottom so tomorrow I am going to put it in a water this side okay next Koya Rosaria it's also wrapped around with the band now this one I don't know if I should put the put it in the water because of the pedicle trying to be very careful not to hurt the stem it's a tiny rubber band so there we go. hopefully there you go oh it's got little root but not really good it's this is not gonna do anything but wow this is long long pedangle look at that Very pretty. Okay, so now next, try to take this out. The imperialist that I got from uh, that Chamberlain, it's really growing. Um, it's it was like it didn't look like doing anything for like a couple of weeks, and then all of a sudden, it started uh, shooting out the new leaves. And uh, Hoya Natalie also. I don't know when that happened, but made a new leaf too. I was really surprised. There we go. This is a learning card right here. This is how he packs things up. I don't know if he put water or not when he packed it, but very interesting. There you go. So, supposedly, you have to cut the bottom leaf so that it will work as a stem. Um, I think I will do that when I actually put it in the water as like try to root but at this point I'm gonna just uh, dunk it in a bucket of water to uh, hydrate for tonight so I think yeah I think that's it and uh, I'm gonna give you uh, another footage when I actually started rooting, so.